In this tutorial I'd like to go over um, taking a character out of Maya into Unity and specifically um, bringing over a character that's got uh, wrap deformers applied to it or any deformers. Um, so what I've got here is a character that's already inside Unity. I'm just going to push play just so as you can see it's animated and it's got a um, clothing. Okay so very simple animation but it's just to show that it uh, has been taken into Unity and it's working and these um, the cloth here, the shirt, it's actually using a wrap deformer and I've imported the deformer into Unity um, which is normally fairly difficult to do so I'm just going to walk you through a fairly simple process to achieve that um, here's that same animation again okay so let's go through that and bring it into eventually bring it into Unity so I started out in Maya with the character now this character here he still hasn't been skinned as you can see here okay um, I am using the human IK system um, but I'm just going to skin it quickly and add a Delta mush deformer so just let me hide this um, hide the shirt so let's go for it all right we'll start out by doing some skinning so I'll select the root joint shift select the mesh make sure there's no history on the mesh and I'm going to go skin bind skin options now in here I've changed everything to reset it all and change maximum influence to one just to one and now bind the skin now you're probably thinking what why on earth would you do it just to one and you know it's a really bad bind yeah I can see that but if we now select the mesh and go deform and use what's called a delta mush deformer now if we have a look at it it's much nicer okay look at that it's quite a nice out of the box it's really quite nice um, that's where the delta mush deformer now we can adjust that a little bit too so I'm just going to bring this in have a look under the armpit and I'm going to click on that delta mush there it is in the channel box and I'm just going to adjust the iterations um, I'll bring those up a bit just to pull it out a bit more I don't want to go too much there we go so I'm getting a bit more even even better quality now so let's have a look at that I'm going to go to my T pose and I'll try it again look at that really nice deformation and I didn't even have to do any skin weighting there to show you that there we go really nice okay so we go back to the T pose now so there we go he's already skinned now next up what I'd like to do is introduce the t-shirt there it is and make sure once again I've deleted any history yes I have and this time I will use a wrap deformer so shift select the main mesh and I'll go deform wrap wrap deformer so now as you can see look at that the shirt moves too perfect okay fantastic really nice all right good so I'll take the character back to his T pose. Now, to be able to send this across into um, Unity, just the way it is with a wrap deformer applied or any deformer, um, it's very difficult. Okay, you're going to run into all sorts of problems. All right, um, I've tried it many, many times, and it's very, very difficult. Now, the workaround that I've found is to actually, what we need to do is duplicate the mesh, and um, we're going to reskin the mesh okay so to do that first I'm going to take this original mesh and I'll duplicate it control D and I'm going to have to unbind it sorry just remove any connections break connections and unlock it there we go now I can move that over so I'm just going to shuffle this one over all right um, so I'll call that skin one, yeah, why not? Now let's also take over the the joints, right? So I'll go a control D. There 
here they are. Um, and it's got nothing associated with. So what we want to do now is actually uh, is to create a control rig for this. Um, I'll use the human IK system and we need to create a new character set. So over here, this one here, sorry, create a new control rig, right? Um, so we've got that, create control rig. But first we need to create a character definition. So we click this, so we need to associate each of these joints with each of the bones. So you click a joint, as you can see down here. So first the root, right click here and go assign. It turns green, great. Let's try this one, right click, assign. Okay, so I need to do that all the way through. So I'm just going to assign each of these and then we'll catch up. Um, just so as you can see, so basically I'm just selecting a joint, I come over here, I right click and assign selected bone. And I'm just doing that all the way through. Okay, so rather than uh, waste your time of just watching me go through this, um, I'll just go through and, and I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay, so moving on, as you can see, I've associated all the joints here, also in the fingers, okay, on both hands, and etc. I've done the spine, all right. Um, so next up, I'm going to add the uh, control um, rig. There we go, control rigs in place. So I'm just going to reduce those ones, turn this on, there we go. So Basically, all I've done here is just simply duplicated the mesh and duplicated the skeleton. So next up, and of course I've got the controls in place. So this is the uh, the trick to be able to take it across over to um, over to um, Unity. Well, first I better also duplicate the um, the clothing because I'd like to show you how we bring the clothing across, of course. So it's out there. Okay, just want to make sure it's not penetrating any of the skin. That looks okay. And just for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to change the color of that just so as they're not the same. Um, we'll turn it to say, just add a different color. This one I'll make pink. Why not? Um, so let me add the pink. There we go. All right, so now what we need to do is um, we want to also skin this one, but we don't want to simply use another deformer like I used the uh, Delta Mush and a Wrap Deformer here. So what we're going to do is just transfer the skin weights over to this one. How do we do that? Well, one, you can come up to Skin and come down to Bake Deformation to Skin Weights. Okay, this is important. Clicking this opens up this little window and now we have our source and our destination. Here is our source and our destination. So let's go for it. First I'll go the this mesh and which is this one, the skin. So I'll just drag this into my window here and that's the mesh. Now the skeleton, let's find the skeleton. Um, whoops. There we go, there's the skeleton. Whoops, just grab the skeleton. Middle mouse drag and drop. There it is. Now the destination will be this mesh here. There it is there. And its skeleton is there. All right. Now hit apply. I'm not gonna close it. Now it's going through the process. Okay, you'll see everything moving. Fantastic. So it should be now skinned over here. We should be able to check that. Just applying it. Just give it a good minute or so to be able to go through that process. There we go. It's already skinned. Nice. Let's do the same for the um, shirt. So I'll simply grab the shirt. There it is. Middle mouse. Whoops. Better get rid of all these actually. I'm going to edit, reset. So shirt, 
that's the orange shirt and here's the other shirt shirt one a skeleton again so middle mouse and middle mouse okay so this is just transferring the skin weights across for the shirts okay just take my time there we go so let's see what we get so now the beauty of the beauty of this one there we go nice and if I come into my channel box there's no deformers no wrap deformers as opposed to over here there's a wrap and there's a delta mush in this one it's just the skin cluster there we go so now if I animate this character say um, so I've just pulled in a um, motion capture animation and here it is over here there it is if you'd like to see that there's the motion capture now let's apply that to our character which is really easy using the human IK system I just need to change my source over to muscle flex and there we go let's send them over to unity grab this one there we go that and we'll grab the shirt and we'll grab the skin okay and we'll go file export selection okay FBX export now I'm going to just call this one ogre ogre pink that'll do okay make sure that you have the correct frame range oh there we go we'll go 240 okay good embedded media is on cameras and lights and audio are off that's important and I wanted to call this one ogre underscore pink okay I'm putting it into my unity scene into the assets folder export and fingers crossed let's see what we get so I'll close that. Now I'll open up Unity. There we go. Um, so there's my new pink. And there he is. Fantastic. Okay. So as you can see, we've now got a character with deformers applied. Okay. Fantastic. Let's bring this character in. So I can just drop him into the scene here. You can move him over a little bit just to show you how I applied the animation. If I just push play now, the animation is not applied. See that? So what we need to do to apply the animation, we've got two characters in here. Okay. Prefabs, they're called. Um, what we need to do first is create a animation controller. So I'll right click over here in my assets area right click I'll go create animation animator controller not animation animator controller I'll give it a name I'll call this one anim mm, pink ogre there we go see that now if I click on my original pink ogre yeah there is the animation and it's inside here too take 001 it's called and it's down here Right. what we're interested in is this one here um, we need to drag this into our animator that's correct oops sorry drag this one here and like that so I just dragged the animation that was inside the pink ogre in okay there it is now if I come back up to my pink ogre sorry pink ogre in here it's got to be inside make sure you select it in the hierarchy 
So I've now selected in the hierarchy and you'll notice the controller under animator is empty. We need to drag our newly created animator controller up and let it go. That's important. Okay, and then we should, if everything's right, be able to come over to our scene and push play and it should play. There we go. Fantastic. Okay guys, so that's an intro to bringing a character into Unity and animating it and with deformers applied to the clothing. Thanks for watching.